Hi and welcome to the 1010 Dive Show, episode 70. Today we've got anywhere between 8 to 14 artists, if they all show up, just here quickly to promote one of their songs. Um, coming up first from South Africa, uh, Peter Toisson. Uh, Peter, who are Four Sun South as a band and what's the story, you know, behind your marvellous song, Living for the Night? All right. Um, Four Sun South is a uh, five-piece rock band. Uh, from South Africa, uh, which I founded in uh, the end of 2019. Uh, we came out with our first EP in uh, oh, Peter. lockdown. Yeah. Uh, it's breaking up a little bit. We can hear you, but your signal's not so great either today. But yeah, continue, Hi. bro. It's all good. We do our best here, man. If there's... Bad weather, there's bad weather, you know, we're trying. Just to start that again, because we didn't hear anything. Who are Four Sun South? What's the story behind your song, Living for the Night? Okay, we're going to try again, and I hope it comes through. Uh, Four Sun South is a five piece from South Africa. Got lots of vocals going on. Um, most people sing in the band, and uh, I love making arrangements for those vocals. Uh, let me keep it short and sweet. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Hey, Peter, everything you do is fantastic. And uh, let's start off the show. Four Sun South with Living for the Night. Sit back and enjoy, and we can only apologize about the weather. Nobody can beat Mother Nature. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. And let's, there you go, it's working.
Well, that was absolutely fantastic, Peter. Um, you know how much I love you here, man. Top down promotions, you're fantastic. So this is how it works. Our next guest, if you want to say something, Alexi, while I load up your track, would you like to say something to Peter uh, about that song while I load up your song, Alexi? Um, well, um, uh, I, would, I, would, I would like to say first about the, yeah that previous song. I think um, um, I said it in the chat, but uh, I really liked the, um, uh, how the male and female vocals sang together. I think that was a nice harmony there. Uh, and uh, mi mixed well, you know, uh, levels wise, um, pretty good. Uh, I think I enjoyed it definitely. And that would be my alley since um, Black and Rose uh, is also kind of like that uh, hard rock. I mixed a bit with a uh, gothic feel. I kind of got my um, stage outfit going a bit with the, uh, all the bridge there and stuff. Um, nice. So it, was, it was a yeah. good song, eh? It was a good one. Um, what mm. we'll do is Peter's going to give us his website and then we'll get to your section and, and I'll ask you about your song and stuff. So well, well said, Alexi. Um, Peter, what's the best way for anyone to contact you, dude? Peter, right. you're, if, yeah, you're if, we can hear, if you guys can hear us, uh, hear me, because, uh, yeah, the internet is uh, not doing well today. Um, Fourth Sun South on all uh, social media, all streaming platforms. Yo, dude, we'll need to go, man. Your signal um, is really bad, yeah. Peter. Fourth Sun South at all social medias. Uh, it's quite a unique name. Peter's a legend. He'll support you back if you support him. Fourth Sun South, till the next time. Thank you. Do you know, um, this, this signal is upset. It's annoying me a little bit here, but we just have to deal with it. So from South Africa over to Australia, um, represented by Alexi. Could you tell us, Alexi, who are Black and Rose and what's the story behind your song, Ginger Red? Uh, well, uh, the story is actually quite funny. But um, first, uh, I guess uh, I would want to share a word about Black and Rose itself since... Um, uh, it's quite a recent band of mine. Um, I've got an all together, you know, i uh, got f five people, so gu guitars, bass, drums, keyboards, and me on vocals. Um, and it's just since uh, the end of last year, really. Uh, so Ginger Ed was our first single, and uh, we're planning to release a, a few more in the coming months. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. But... Um, Ginger Ed's idea was actually um, quite simple. And um, I think I just went uh, funny with the lyrics and um, I've written a bit <laughs> uh, about some personal stories, some people I've met uh, through my life, you know, so Ginger Ed, oh so bad. <laughs> Well, without further ado, let's get acquainted with your music. If you've not heard them yet, they're absolutely brilliant. Black and Rose with their track, Ginger Red. Sit back and enjoy. One well, lovely and gentlemen. And Mr. Dreeser, you're up next. Enjoy.
absolutely fantastic, man. Another day into the show here. Alexi, fantastic, dude. Um, Thank you. Brilliant. Mr. Alan Dreeser, you're the next guest up here. So would you like to say something to Alexi while I prepare your song? Yeah, I thought it was really good, hard rock and roll, which is everybody loves a bit of that, don't they? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, uh, just wanted to do it very old school, late 70s, something early 80s rock vibe for sure. Yeah, I definitely think you captured that. Well done. Thank you. Didn't you just, didn't you just? So what's the best way for anyone to find you? Um, Alexei, do you have a website or anything you want to promote here? Um, well, of course, we're in uh, most of the social media, so you can find us, yeah, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, uh, anywhere like that. And if you want to stream, listen, of course, again, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, it's all there. So more coming. Why not? I can't wait to see what, what's next for you guys, you know. Um, but ladies and gentlemen, there's only six more acts to go. There's only eight acts today. Sometimes it's 20. So um, hopefully you can all hang around for, for the rest of the show. Alexei and his Black and Rose until the next time. Thank you. No problem whatsoever. Um, so coming up next, we've got Alan Dreeser um, from the UK. Um, I've actually pressed the wrong button there. Could you introduce yourself, Alan? Who are you as an artist and what's the story behind your song, Take Me Back? Yeah, I'm a solo artist, been a solo artist. I was in bands before that, but since 2017, I would say it's an electro pop sound, a little bit retro as well, a bit of 80s thrown in there. The song itself is inspired by the song Heart of Glass by Blondie. Not musically, but it just took me back to a, a particular time and the people that are around then, the things that we used to do, stuff like that. Um, and then I got to thinking, was life better back then? And has technology changed things for the better or worse from when I was a, get, a, a young boy? So it's kind of evoking all of those memories. And the video, which isn't this one, the official video, which is out next week, is um, is all about going back in time. And that's what the that's what the song's about, is just evoking those memories of of you of your youth if you like hey i always think that the same as well everyone thinks they're so much smarter now with a smartphone in their hand but yeah if yeah. you've got a power cut, really we're not anywhere near as smart as everybody was 20 30 years ago as in being able to do things with their life skills and stuff so what a wonderful reason to let, write a song sit back and enjoy this ladies and gentlemen alan dreeser with take me back thank you one love and here we go Do you remember silly games we would play? Nothing else seemed to matter. We just lived for today. You will be heroes right round the block. Blinded, please, so much in top of the pops. to go Oh, God. 
again. So tell me, am I wrong? Didn't everything feel different before Apple came along? I'm starting to forget. So tell me, am I wrong? Didn't everything feel different before Apple came along? Oh, please just take me back. So take me back to those times when we all find mistakes we Absolutely fantastic. Alan Dreiser, ladies and gentlemen. Another debut on the show. Thanks, dude. That was just wonderful. Thank so our, our next guests are over in Norway. So, Gear, would you like to say anything about Alan's song while I load up your so- uh, your track, Gear, in Norway? Hello, yes. Uh, it's a great voice, great sound. And I like this, what I listen to. And uh, so uh, it's a good job. You have a... Uh, it was a great song. I love this song. And um, what I can tell about Viking Queen, I started up Viking Queen in October well, 2016. We'll get to your section just in t- 30 seconds. Or just let Alan give his website oh. and then we'll get to you, brother. So yeah, thanks yeah. for the nice comment there, Gear. Alan, do you have a website? Or you, it's just the same thing, every guest. Yeah, certainly. It's alandreza.com is my website and Alan Dreza Music is on all socials. Nice one, dude. Well, thanks for being a, a marvellous guest and sorry to everybody for the signal this morning. But we're almost halfway halfway there. So from England over to Norway, represented by Gear. Gear, could you tell us who are Viking Queen and what's the story behind your song, Hail to the King? Yeah, yeah I can tell you. I, I started up uh, Viking Queen October 2016 and we joined uh, some reality TV series Norwegian Rednecks is from its most popular TV show in Scandinavia. And so we come out with the first album, Hammers of Gods Worldwide. And so, and we have a female singer in the first album. And so I fired this front singer we had before. And we have some uh, audition with different singers. So the new album, Hail to the King, uh, I have a front singer, a new front singer from Santiago. And um, and uh, as you know, this is a king. So it's a red line from the first album to the, this album. It's a battle song. Hail to the king when the, the queen have passed away or dead in the battlefield and the king come up to the new front singer for Viking Queen. And, um, and uh, so uh, that's just the story about uh, I write in this song, uh, Hail to the King. Well, without further ado, let's sit back and enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. We've only got, we've got we, Sam, Steve, Graham, and Tony as the next four guests. When you say Vikings, I've got a group on Facebook called Vikings, and it's the most supportive people that's in my music family. And most of us have got big beers. I've got the smallest one. So I love Vikings, <laughs> and I can't wait to uh, let everyone hear this. Viking Queen with Hail to the King. Sit back and enjoy. This is us halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. One love.
Absolutely fantastic. I don't know if it was highlights of several different songs. I think it was there. Um, but the, the link you sent me was 45 minutes long, so I didn't know what part of it to play. So, Gear, um, we'll get you back on ASAP. And my camera's acting up weird. Yeah. Welcome, Bella Dose. Uh, Lenny Egerton is coming into the room, Lenny. Um, thanks, for, thanks for coming, dude. Um, so we're on song four of nine, it is going to be now. So our next guest coming up is Steve. No, no, it's not. It's Wiz Gray. Um, we Sam. Would you like to say something uh, regarding that track? And I'll load up your song, please, brother. Yeah, that was some. That was some real heavy, heavy stuff. I really liked that. I was. I, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of heavy metal, but I was. I had myself banging to that. My my head was bopping to that for sure. Yeah, I really liked that, for sure. Well said, dude. Well said. So, how does everyone find Viking Queen Gear? Do you have a website or put social yeah, media? We have, a, yeah, we have everything on social media from Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, uh, uh, Snapchat, uh, website, and everything. We have people who take care about that, uh, not we. And uh, we have a big management and record label, booking company. We have everything. And, uh, and, um, and now, uh, so you can find us there and buy the CD, vinyl, everything, and every platform from Apple to Spotify, Vimp, Apple. Also, we have everything. Also, well, also okay, the music. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, obviously, I'm your friend in Facebook gear, um, but yeah, yeah, Viking Queen. It's quite a unique name. So everybody, check out Viking Queen. Until the next time, thank you, dude. Yeah. So. Poor Tony from Australia signals so bad. He had to leave there. But uh, Lenny's come into the show, so we've still got four guests to go. We're, we're going to go with uh, Wee Sam, then Lenny, then Steve, and then Graham. So there's only four songs left to actually uh, witness. So coming up next from Australia, um, who is Wiz Gray? And what's your story behind your song, Harley? Or Wee Sam, you get called as well. But who are Wiz Gray? And what's the story behind your song, Harley? Yeah, so... um. I'm an up and coming artist from Sydney, Australia. I'm 22 years old. And um, pretty much behind the song, Harley, I, I just wanted to tap into some, some r and I'm a, I'm a big fan of r and 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 hip hop. I kind of like the, the older r and tunes. Like, um, I like early Chris Brown, um, you know, like, you know, Usher, things of that nature. So I, I, I wanted to give a, a more modernized uh, vibe. And um, uh, I like, I like the weekend as well. So I, I kind of wanted to like mix all those together and, and come with with a new R and B sound, like sounding um kind of kind of way really, yeah. Hey man, it's absolutely fantastic. And this is called the Diverse Show for a reason. We do our shows, we do R and B, we do blues shows, metal shows, and all the rest of it. But this is a diverse show that we open up to everyone to come and get their first show. Uh, so without further ado, Harley by Wiz Gray. Absolutely bright, man. Love this track. Sit back and enjoy. Harley, Harley. Harley, Harley. Ask me if I got a lighter. He's 
set yourself on fire, you liar. Have I made my way to your hills? Bad news, you are a eater. Everybody on Molly, I know she play me Polly. Everybody on Molly, I know she play me Polly. Everybody on Molly, I know she play me Polly. Morning, I'm just down to rise. My first dibs on the end of the call and a Holly. Put it in the blood, now you disrespect for Molly. Got these problems that I just can't comprehend. I met a girl named Molly. She wasn't shy, she popped ten Molly. Less than three hundred prepared for the party. I met a girl named Molly. She wasn't shy, she popped ten Molly. Less than three hundred prepared for the party. I met a girl named Samantha. Off the park and said she a good dancer. She said her mother was there, but her dad was more like. Answer. Then she asked me about my life, and I told her that it's complicated. See the glimmer in my eyes 'cause I'm faded. I can see nobody but you, baby. Got first dibs on the end of the call and a Harley. Nobody else can be there. Put it in a blind now you disrespect for Molly. Got these problems that I just can't comprehend. I met a girl named Harley. And I'm so from back here, I'm blind as two days. Better watch these girls 'cause they're just trying to weigh out their options. I met a girl named Samantha. If your name ring bells, then I gotta wanna fuck you. Better watch these girls 'cause they're just trying to weigh out their options. What about that bitch Harley? If your name ring bells, then I gotta. If I got a lighter, you set yourself on fire, you liar. Holy, holy, all my life I've been a fighter. Holy, holy. I met a gunny, a gunny, a gunny. I met a girl named Holly. She wasn't shy, she popped ten mollies. Holy, holy. I know she blamed me, Polly. Morning and it's time to rise up. Put the gardens and a lighter. Morning and it's time to rise up. Stop down the button. That's absolutely fantastic. We Sam Brilliant. Was great. Uh, I'm Thank you. Lenny, Lenny, you're next. So, would you like to say something quickly to uh, young Wee Samuel? I load up your track, Mr. Edgerton. Yeah, for sure. Hey, listen, sorry. I, when we organised times, this is my first time on the show. And I thought it was like 11 p.m. or Sydney time. Um, I'm getting prepped to stay up late, but yeah, thanks for sending me a message, dude. I appreciate it. No worries, no worries. You're actually yeah. in, in Australia as well. Yeah, I've got. Yeah, you're in Australia. <laughs> That's four Australians then. Nice one. So, what's great? What's what's the best way for anyone to find you? Just the same as other artists. Do you have a website or any of these things? Oh yeah, my, um, it's just at with Gray. Um, pretty much on on all social medias. I'm on all uh, social platforms. I'm on all digital service platforms as well. So you can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, everywhere. Um, it's just it's just my my name, with Gray. Nice one. Well, until the next time, thanks very much. We've only got three acts Thank you left. So much, poor, poor Tony's trying to, Tony's world class as well. He's trying to come in. He just he just can't get it. So there's only three songs left. Uh, so from Australia, back over to Australia again. Uh, Lenny Edgerton, could you introduce yourself? Uh, who are Bella Dos Music and what's the story behind the song One Night Stand? Oh, okay, Bella Dos Bella Music's my music business name. Um, I'm just a generic singer-songwriter here in Australia. Uh, I go under the uh, the moniker of Lens Theory. That's my solo project um, that's been floating around for many years. Um, played in a couple of country bands and the rock scene here in Newcastle. But, um, yeah, I've got this little solo project on the side and, yeah, that's what I'm doing at the moment, apart from teaching uh, teach music here in Australia. So um, pretty hectic. Times are busy. Yeah. Hey man, I'm I'm so I'm so happy that you that you come because this song is absolutely brilliant, dude. Tap back and enjoy this, ladies and gentlemen. Not that there's any ladies in the room, but plenty will see it. One night stand by Bella Dose Music. Sit back and enjoy. Third last song of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. One love.
Watching the summer rain tumble down In a smoky bar at the end of town For tonight you are my friend I've had to call on you again As I take another shot you pick me up Absolutely fantastic, man. Isn't that just a great song, eh? We, we, we nearly missed Lenny from the show as well, and he's just coming. Thanks, dude. That was absolutely brilliant. Our next guest is in Portugal, Steve Andrews. Would you like to say something to Bella Dos? And uh, I'll load up your track, young man. Yeah, I, I would indeed. I thought that was absolutely amazing. It was top quality songwriting, which I think I said in, in the chat and production and everything about it was just top class and uh 
I also just added that I, I could hear that on the radio. It's very kind of radio friendly. The, the sound was so professional. Fantastic job. Very cool. Well, thank you. Oh, well you're said. welcome. Well said, dude. So, so Lenny, what's the best way for anyone to, to find you guys? Um, you know, your website or social medias or anything? Yeah, my website's belladosemusic.com. Um, it's more of a mentoring site. Um, as far as social media goes, I go under Lenny Edgerton, singer songwriter, and uh, Belladose Music's on there as well for the teaching and mentoring purposes. So, um, again, thanks for that too, because that's what I focus on songwriting. I teach a lot of songwriting here in, in Newcastle, Australia. So, well, thanks for being a marvellous guest. And to, to all the new people that, that's in the show today, um, I'll speak to you afterwards. I'd love you to come and get all your songs featured because I do these these shows and then I promote you seven different ways eternally for just coming on the one show. So you can either just come and get one song help promoted or like Steve and Graham and Peter and many other people, you, you just could come and get all your songs featured in this show. Until the next time, Lenny Edgerton and Bella Dose Music, he's my mentor over there, so... Check them out. So from Australia over to Portugal, we've got we've got three more guests to go. And um, we're going to try and play Tony's, even if he can't introduce it himself. It's so good to have to. So Steve Andrews over in Portugal, introduce yourself and what's the story behind your song, The Nightingale. Okay, uh, thank you, Sparky. Um, well, first of all, I just wanted to say that uh, in We Sam's uh, song, we had a mention for Bob Marley, and I've got Bob Marley behind my head on the wall, as you can see. So that's why I changed my background so you could see Bob. And I also wanted to say, because we've got various guests here from Australia, I've got an Australian connection, and I got it out. This is my, I don't know if you can see that, but this yep. is my, um, basically, I, I joined the Rotary Club of Wyndham Harbour. And this is my congratulations for doing so, and my welcome, welcome to Rotary Pack. And this came about, in a, although I'm in Portugal, which is a bit strange, but this came about because I write environmental songs, one of which you're about to hear. And I wrote a song about plastic pollution, which Sparky knows well, which is called Where Does All the Plastic Go? The Rotary Club of Wyndham Harbour found this on Instagram wanted to interview me for their magazine and I of course said yes please and then they invited me to the online meetings because we were in lockdown then and that was how basically how I came to join the the Rotary Club of Wyndham Harbour in Australia so I do have like an Australian connection and I'm often in uh, like online meetings with them over there so I thought I'd bring that into it but as you can see on my hat, I've actually got a dragon on here. This is because I'm from Wales originally, but I'm currently in Portugal. And my song that you're about to hear is an environmental song. It was recorded in Wales with Jace Lewis as the producer. It features Mab Jones, who is a Welsh poetess and a media person, a personality. And uh, Mab does some backing vocals on there. And as I say, it was recorded in Wales at Jace's North Stone Studios. And it's an environmental song basically about something which is happening all over the world where uh, habitats and um, forests and just natural places are being destroyed by housing developments and, and road making and stuff. And the point that I'm making is that it's called the Nightingale because I say, like you're not going to hear any nightingales if they've got nowhere to live and this is the the case with all forms of wildlife i make a reference to the trees in sheffield and for those of you in the uk would know where sheffield is for those of you in the rest of the world maybe not sheffield is a big city and it was in the news a lot a few years ago because there were thousands of trees being chopped down in sheffield and some notable people got involved in this. Jarvis Cocker uh, from the, the, band, uh, oh. the band Pulp, yeah. Uh, he, he spoke out about this and was involved in the protests. Bianca Jagger uh, said something about this. And Michael Gove, who at the time I think was Environment Secretary from the Tory party, even he got involved in it to say that this was insane and, and it should stop all the trees chopping. So I, I make a mention to that. And the main point of the song is to say that the people who are doing this don't care about the environment, even if they say so. They care about making money. 
And the only way we're going to stop this is if the people protest enough and say, we, we've had enough of this. So that's basically, uh, you know, a bit about my song. I think that's probably enough from me. You know, Bob Marley, Australia, Rotary Clubs, Wales, Welsh Dragons, environment, environment all over the world. We need to do something about it. Sparky, um, over to, to you with, with my song, The Nightingale. Without further ado, the only thing that's missing is a video. This you, this man's videos are world class, but he's not got one for this. So sit back and enjoy the Nightingale. I uh, love you, Steve. You're the man, brother. no longer there Destroyed by a developer who doesn't really care Despite their claims otherwise about biodiversity Ripped up hedges, bulldozed land is a reality I see Reality I see the destruction And it's happening across the UK Big business doesn't care about nature Despite what they may say Businessmen and councillors Don't care about a green city They care about making targets They care about big money They care about big money Destruction Steve Andrews, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to see more about Steve, uh, type in Steve Andrews, Britain's Get Talent, and uh, you'll see him on uh, Britain's Get Talent singing Stand By Me, and he gets all the female chicks in the crowd up on stage with him, man. It's looking, sorry for swearing, it's absolutely brilliant. Steve, you're a legend, love you to bits. Graham Tucker, you're up next. What was your thoughts on Steve's track? Well, load up your song, the second last of the evening. Graham and then Tony to go. Tucker? Very powerful, very powerful. Love songs that um, mean something. I liked that. That was good. Uh, thank you, Graham. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for everybody, you know, for the, the comments in the chat as well. Th thank you. But thank right. you, Sparky. So how, how, do, how does everyone find you, Steve? Uh, here I do hold up my bit of paper that I always do. There we are. That's the easiest Steve, way. Easiest Steve way. Andrews info. That's his website. www.steveandrews.info. The man's honestly. If there's more Steve Andrews in the world, the world would be a better place to live in. You know, it would be. You know, he's at the forefront to try to change things. You, you have no idea what he's done in the past. All the causes he stands for, and he's my right hand man in this show. He's one of them. Uh, Steve Andrews. Till the next time. Thank you. And I even put on my green hat for you, dude. But it's going back to white now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 
Uh, so from Portugal, back over to my homeland, Scotland, uh, Graham Tucker, a.k.a. WWG, introduce yourself, dude, and what's the story behind your song? Uh, um, the, it's the namesake of the Scottish track, Winds of Change. Could yes. you tell me about that, please? Yeah, no problem. So basically, I'm a singer-songwriter. I took the foot off the gas, but it's back on now, so I'm starting to really push um, for coverage of the songs. Winds of Change, um, it's quite a common story. Everybody knows somebody in this situation. It was actually influenced by a, a, quite a few couples, I know, who stay in their relationship, but it's dead. Everybody can see it's dead. They know it's dead, but they don't. They fear change. They don't want to change. Um, they just, they, it's too much hassle to change that eventually somebody says, enough. And the point is, um, it makes you really look at yourself and think about, well, what could I have done differently? But what's really great about it is, is I got a strong message, but it's still a commercial song with a good dance beat and a good chorus. So I like how they fuse together. You can cheat it in two levels. You can listen just as a dance track, or you can listen to it deeper and you'll go there with it sort of thing. Hey man, you're fantastic, Graham. Uh, it goes by the artist named WWG, recently renamed himself, and this is his song Winds of Change. Sit back and enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. One love.
WWG, you know, that's very, very commercial track, man. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm hoping that Tony can hear us, although we can't see him. Mm-hmm. Tony, uh, if you can hear us, what was your thoughts yes. on that track? I can hear. Oh, it's quite jumpy, Tony. Yeah, um, I've noticed a bit of commercial stuff going on in the program today. Great track, catchy. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me, yeah. Mark? Can you hear yeah, me? we can. My yes. My God. You can hear me. <laughs> we, we can hear you, dude. So, yeah. Well said, Tony. We'll That's get to great. your song in a second. Yeah, it was, man. A very catchy song, you know. Uh, Graham, what's the best way for anyone to find you? Uh, I'm your friend on Instagram, but have you got a website or anything else? Yeah, no problem. So, quite strong in SoundCloud. It's starting to get more presence on YouTube because of the videos um, and Instagram. Um, on TikTok, but not as much. But mostly SoundCloud, YouTube, and Instagram, really. That's the main ones. And it's just under Graham Tucker or WWG. Well, as you can see, you turned my heart blue there because you're from Scotland, yeah. dude. I don't know what's happening here. Uh, thanks again. Till the next time, dude. Graham Tucker. Thank you. So our, our final guest of the evening is, is a good friend of mine. Tony uh, from Australia. He goes by his band name CM Jones. Introduce yourself. Who are CM Jones and why did you write the song Down on Sugar and Dry? If you yeah, can hi. Uh, thanks for having me, Mark. I'm back on, uh, back on deck. Uh, it's been about three months, but uh, uh, this is a song of an uh, album I did in 2006 and Seven called coming out of the dark, uh, down on sugar rye. Tony, Tony, the audio, Tony, the audio is really bad, dude. We can't hear a word you're saying. A bluesy, rocky. So I'm going to introduce it for you, dude, because that's that's just it's terrible. We can't hear a word you're saying there, Tony. But it's okay. His name is uh, Tony uh, C.M. Jones. He's based over in Australia. Um, absolute wonderful artist. And this track is called Down on Sugar and Rye. Uh, hopefully you'll be able to answer a question in a minute, Tony. But if not, everyone sit back and enjoy this track. Uh, Down on Sugar and Rye by C.M. Jones. Absolute wonderful artist. Sit back and enjoy. She hangs her head and begins to cry While she wipes those tears from her eyes She's telling no lies She just wants Whoa. 
GM Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Toby, they're fantastic. Toby's really struggling to get his audio across, but we're going to give him two reviews, and then that's been a wonderful show, minus the actual signal problem. So, Alan Dreeser, then Steve Andrews, would you both like to say something to Tony here? And, uh, yeah. yeah, Alan? Sure. Yeah, can you hear me? Um, yeah, I thought we, I felt um, Eric, yeah, Cla I, Eric, Eric Clapton coming yeah, across from me yeah. on those. Sorry, yeah, for sorry. Change. Yeah, on you go, Alan. I've, 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 yeah, you go, Alan. Say again. Yeah, so I was feeling some Eric Clapton vibes with that, and um, really nice guitar licks all the way through. Yeah, really cool track. Well done. Well said, well said. Mr. Andrews as well, final compliment of the evening. And uh, we'll see what Tony can do here on the reach chat after Steve. I thought that was absolutely brilliant. You know, fantastic vocals, very kind of soulful, jazzy. I, I, I had, I could, you know, really feel like a jazz influence in all of it and great guitar, the piano. I love that tinkling piano, you know, through, through a lot of it as well. And that really made it. And and it also had a kind of a live feel and all around just a, a top, top quality production. Fantastic work. Well said, well said. So, so Tony, um, brilliant chat. Uh, huge. I've met you on Lycan before. <laughs> oh, what is good? Lost you, mate. Yeah, honestly, bro, the next time we'll make sure you've got a good yeah, the signal's terrible, Tony, but CM Jones, you'll find them on YouTube, um, you know, basically everywhere, um, Spotify, stuff like that. But yeah, we need to make, it's been great to see you, Tony, but unfortunately, your, your, your section's been a little bit... Be honest, see, Mark. Yeah, brother. I'll speak to you soon, Tony. Tony, CM Jones, everyone, until the next time. Thank you. No worries, Mark. Cheers, brother. Cheers, cheers. So this has been a short show. A short show. Sometimes I've got 18, 20 guests on a show. This has just been nine today. Um, so I'm going to stop the Facebook Live. I thank you all for coming. I'll stop the Facebook Live and then I like to end all my shows with the World Peace sign because I, I hope to try and help World Peace come in this world. So goodbye, Facebook. And then, yeah, throw your Vs in the air if you want World Peace like everyone does. One, two, three, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Even you, Lenny, you got it. Nice, man.